Hey YouTube, this is Sun Purple One. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I want to talk about what is coming up in the next few weeks. There's a lot of people uh, really concerned about the new uh, Department of Defense directive uh, authorizing, you know, the law enforcement to receive uh, military assistance that would be lethal military assistance. Uh, it, you know, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that uh, the powers that be that run this country, be it elected representatives, be it the bureaucratic mess that's up there in Washington, they don't like us. So I accept that, and, and things like this doesn't bother me. It keeps me just focused on uh, the part of prepping that I can control, and that is me getting ready uh, for terrible times. Um, after going through uh, 11 days with no power, uh, seeing all the people around me, uh, being able to help a ton of people, um, people are not prepared. Uh, if you're not a prepper, uh, a lot of people were not prepared to handle it. Um, and this was just a, a, a minute problem that could, uh, problems in the future could be a lot worse. Um, people didn't have food, people didn't have water, people didn't have gas, people didn't have generators. The list goes on and on. Um, so I'm preparing... As you know, I've been following my channel for many years. Uh, I'm preparing to keep my family comfortable. So I want the status quo here. Now, I, I won't have the grid power, so I have to have my own grid. Uh, and that's what I'm doing. Um, I want my wife to say, hmm, I, I know the situation outside is terrible and a lot of people are suffering. But I know my wife, my kids, my grandbabies are fine. We have everything we need. Um, it doesn't really matter who's going to win. If Trump wins, if Harris wins, it does not matter. Uh, in the sense of this ship we are on, called the United States of America, is going down. No questions about it. Let's look at the debt. Uh, the debt is exploding. We can't even... It takes over a trillion dollars every year to pay the interest on the debt. In a year from now, two years from now, three years from now... It's going to get so high, it's going to go up to $2 $3 trillion, $4 trillion. They're saying $4 trillion in four years just to pay the interest. Uh, that is not doable. Um, you would have to have huge tax increases. You'd have to have huge cuts in government spending. Um, it's, it's not possible. It would collapse the system. Um, so, I, I hope you're preparing as best you can. Uh, I hope you're trying to wake up people. Um, I... I I'm still trying to wake people up, but priority one is just getting ready. Uh, being able to shut the gates, lock them down, and live at the same level I am doing right now. That's to sum up my uh, philosophy in prepping. One thing I've seen that I've really gone more on is fuel storage. Uh, safely and properly storing fuel, rotating it through. Um, I can't make fuel. So... That being said, yes, I could, you can make fuel, but not at the, you know, the capacity that I would need. Um, I don't have the time to put into, you know, making my own fuel, not wood gasifier. I don't have time, don't want to do it. So I'm relying on the sun, relying on solar, and that sun will power e-bikes, that sun will power golf carts that are electric. Uh, so that's where I'm focusing on, getting uh, to be able to travel, uh, not relying on my feet only, uh, and definitely not relying on horses. I, I don't have a horse. I don't have the ability to keep a horse. I have, you know, I have one cow, and that's good for me. But I could not, you know, infrastructurally support horses. Um, they're a lot of work. So the e-bikes and, and golf carts uh, that we just take the sun, and I'm good to go, are where I'm focusing on making sure I have transportation. The fuel I have will be uh, cherished. I was talking about the the eleven days, and we went. We used the generators. We used solar, but we burned a lot more fuel than we would if it was a disaster where it didn't have an end date. I could see an end date on this thing. Yep, eventually they're going to put power up, um, and, and things are going to return to normal in a crisis situation. And it could be anything. Uh, our country is very vulnerable. We're vulnerable for a. a War, World War III, having nukes impact our soil is very possible. Uh, we're vulnerable with a cyber attack. We're vulnerable uh, for just a general attack, a sabotage attack against the infrastructure of the United States. 
it's a high probability just because of our open borders. Uh, some of you are thinking, Dave, you've been preaching for a long time that doom and gloom. Uh, so it hasn't happened yet. It ain't going to happen. This is America. We are special. Um, we're, we're number one. We're special. It's never going to happen to us. Sorry to say, uh, but as we look at the facts, and the facts are a deficit, a debt, uh, the um, division in this country, be it political, be it religious, be it whatever it is, we are totally divided. And, and that division is going to cause problems because when you have an economic problems or any other problems, uh, this going to you know rear its ugly head and it's going to cause more problems. So... You might say, Dave, you've been talking doom and gloom. And my priority concern is economics, um, because you can see that happening. And now we're seeing gold and silver spike higher. Uh, and that's directly related, I believe, to uh, a loss of confidence in the dollar. And that confidence is going to go even further down when the BRICS nation fires up their new currency. Um, the BRICS nation is going to collapse the dollar. People don't want the dollar. It's weird, because we print money. Some foreign country makes something, okay? Make it agriculture, make it steel, make it whatever. And we send them a bunch of U.S. Federal Reserve notes, and they send us something real. You put your hand on it. You can use it. You can do something with it. Uh, eventually, people are going to say, well, we don't want that fake money. We want something real. So instead of sending us Federal Reserve notes, you could send us some silver, some gold, or, or maybe that wheat that you grow so much out west We'll take some of that wheat, fill that ship up with wheat after we send you over whatever we're going to sell, sell you. You fill that ship up with wheat and send it back to us. Our lifestyle would drastically collapse if we had to do that because we don't produce anything in this country. Um, you, you will, your life will change. And so going back to my philosophy is I do not want my wife, my children, or my grandchildren to see a drastic change in lifestyle. That's just what I'm preparing for. Um, so by, to, to accomplish that, um, I have to work very hard now. I have to secure resources. I have to build infrastructure. I have to build a network of people. I have to build a communication network. Um, all that takes energy. It takes effort. It takes time. Uh, but you know what? There's people out there that want to do it also, just like what I'm doing and they're doing it. I'm constantly communicating with them. They're all around me. Um, and, and people out in the country are more inclined to think that way uh, than people in the city. Um, because in the city, you don't have any infrastructure to develop. You, you don't have a creek next to your house, so you could do a ramp pump. You could do some hydro. Uh, you don't have the ability to put 20 panels outside your house because you live in an apartment. Uh, you don't have the ability to grow a huge garden or put fruit trees in. Um, you don't have the ability to do a lot of target practice. You don't have the ability, uh, you know, to stack firewood for your wood stove. Probably in the city, you don't have a wood stove. You don't have a fireplace. And if you do have a fireplace, it is a fireplace that's so inefficient. Uh, it's a conventional fireplace that's about 10% efficient. So you'd be just throwing wood in there all day. And really, uh, that's not feasible in the long term. You'd use up your wood very quickly that you've had stored. So I'm in the final push. Um... I'm in the final push of getting things situated, doing those final purchases. Will this item I'm buying, this gadget number two, will gadget two help me maintain a lifestyle uh, up here? I don't want to be down here in the 1800s. Um, you know, if, if I have to be down in the 1800s, so be it. But what I would like to see is my ability uh, to come down to the 1800s like this over a few years that way, we're used to it. We've learned things. I don't want to go from today to 1750 technology um, because everything you have in your house is worthless. Uh, that is going to kill people. That is going to drive people insane. Uh, mentally, they're going to be depressed, and, and rightfully so. Uh, we have a lifestyle uh, that we're all used to. A lot of people have a lifestyle that they have um, because of being fake. They have a credit card. Uh, they have debt. And they're using credit cards. They're using debt to, to have a good lifestyle. Um, that is a huge problem. If you look at 
Um, interest rates, they're starting to go up there. The, the treasury are going up, up, up. Um, and every time they go up, 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 they're getting closer to 5%. That means the government has to pay more interest. So that over $1 trillion we paid in 2024 fiscal year is going to be mm, very close to $2 trillion in probably two years. Um, that could go sky high. If people decide tomorrow they don't want uh, to loan money to the government and they'll only loan it to you at 10%, 15%, 20%, what is that going to do to our debt? We're going to collapse. Um, so I'm urging you, don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to any other prepper on YouTube. A lot of preppers have been working on this for a long time. Now, somebody can say, Dave, that's just doom and gloom. No, I don't see doom and gloom at all. I see a bunch of cool things I do. Be it, there's an electric bike, awesome. Be it solar on the house. Uh, be it backup water, be it the gardens, the fall gardens that are in. These are just activities uh, that give you a better life. Uh, fun activities. So don't look at it as doom and gloom. Now, a lot of you guys have to convince your wife or the wife has to convince her husband. I talk to people every day. One is on board and one is not. Uh, there's nothing I can say to change that. Um, just do the best you can without breaking up your relationship or, or destroying your marriage. Um, you, you have to find, walk a very fine line of getting prepared. Um, a lot of people will come around to saying, oh, crud, I should have listened to my wife. I should have listened to my husband. But at that point, is going to be impossible to prep. First of all, your money might not be worth anything. Uh, or there's not going to be supplies out there to buy. So, I want to say a few things about the military. I have connections in the military. Uh, and I'm just going to tell you, first of all, they're broke. They're broke physically. They're broke economically, they're broke spiritually, have no morals. Uh, the U.S. military is broke uh, to the point of we couldn't fight a world war. We could not fight another world war. First of all, we don't have the finances to support that. Uh, where are you going to get all that money? Uh, people aren't going to trade with us for worthless U.S. dollars. So that is going to create a problem. Also, what if you have multiple emergencies on top of each other? We just had the hurricane. We had the massive flooding in North Carolina. Now we have massive amounts of debris. Totally debris everywhere. Uh, fire hazard. We haven't had any rain since uh, three weeks or something since the hurricane. We're not forecasted for a couple more weeks. So we're going to be in a very bad situation here just in South Carolina, upstate. Uh, everything's bone dry and we could have brush fires. So we need to start preparing for that. So I know I rambled. I want you to prepare as best you can. That means giving up the, the expensive coffee, the lattes, the cable TV. You can get rid of it now. Uh, and if you don't, do not complain to anyone. Do not be like, oh, Dave, you got all that food. You need to share with me. I'll share if the Holy Spirit tells me to share. I'll share uh, for sure. But I'm telling you now, prepare. Prepare, prepare, because I what I saw out there was people so unprepared for a few days with no electricity. Thanks for watching.